2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Travellers' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this week we're at TPC River Highlands in Connecticut. This golf course is a fun one and a birdie fest. What's your thoughts? If you don't make birdies early and often around this layout, Luke, you are falling behind quickly. Players who are aggressive historically play this golf course very well. You must take the lid off early and start pouring in putts early and often. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Playing this one about 130 yards out. It's a decent fair way to hit this one. Not sure if they'll find it though. No harm, no foul there with that shot. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Setting up this putt 11 feet from the cup. Now this one, this is important. This for par. He finds himself tied for sixth. The second, a short par four playing up the hill, just 345 yards. How aggressive do you want to be? Do you want to take driver out and try and get it up to the front edge, or are you going to lay it back with a long iron? That are the two thoughts that players must face. Second shot into a minuscule green with a putt bunker on the left-hand side that could be the meanest one on the golf course. Well, there's a school card saver, Rich. That's perfection. Is that what they had in mind? It needed to put some draw on that one, but just couldn't get it dialed in. Big pass saver coming up for this fella. Tracking. Just a short putt remaining here. Currently at plus one for the day. And moving down the leaderboard as well. The players will face themselves with their first legitimate test at TPC River Highlands, the par four third. Dog leg from right to left, just avoid those bunkers both right and left, and there's not a single one up there on that green. This green is fairly flat with runoffs on all sides of this green. It's a wonderful design. School card filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's the way to bounce back. Good way to make up for the bogey at the last. And that'll move him to even par for the tournament. The par four fourth runs back in the opposite direction, Rich, and you've really got to be able to hit your drive well. Difficult driving hole indeed. You must hit it down the left-hand side to have any chance of knocking it on in two as there's some massive trees down the right-hand side that can block you out. This green is not very wide. It's narrow, it's long, it's difficult to find. Big chance here. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Opting for the hybrid, I think. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. The fade didn't come to their aid. Getting ready to play their third. He's two shots back. A par putt on the table. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The par three fifth is no snack either, particularly at the distance of 230. That's its only defense here, Luke. The green is fairly flat, has a couple of bunkers up there surrounding it. But to be fair, at 230 yards, it's a pretty simple, straightforward, long par three. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. 
That'll sting a bit. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. Now three strokes back after that hole. The sixth is the first of our par fives, and at 586, playing slightly downhill, Rich, players should be enticed to go for this green in two. Most players in this field will be looking to knock it on in two. Tee shots want to favor the right-hand side to shorten up the hole ever so slightly. The second shot will be semi-blind, taking it over some bunkers and some mounds to a green that runs from right to left. Bunker front left and a runoff area over on the right-hand side. Shouldn't be too much of a bother for most of these players. Love coming to TPC River Highlands every year, Rich. I think if there's one event that goes above and beyond for its players, it's this one. There seems to be an extra feel of something, you know, special at the Travelers Championship. Well, they do have the umbrella that is red as their logo, but it seems like this tournament rolls out the red carpet for these players. It comes off the heels of a major, so most of these players are looking for a little bit of a decompression mode for a few days, and they get it here. It's just one of these golf courses that it's right in front of you. It poses some difficulty, but in all reality, it's not overly difficult. You know, you're, you do have to hit some proper shots here and there, but it seems awfully simple compared to what they had to face last week. So when they get here to TPC River Highlands, they're in a different kind of mode. Like, they're relaxed. They're looking at making birdies, finally, because they didn't make any last week. And they're trying to just get into a really nice rhythm and kind of out of what they experienced the week before. Going with the 9-9, I think. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. And down it goes. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, guys, I'm down on the 13th hole. This is Justin Thomas prepping his next shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. I really like the eighth here at TPC River Highlands. A good par three. This is a strong par three. Water shouldn't come into play as it's some 15 yards short of the green. However, there's runoff areas both right and left that could cause some issues for these players. A chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 10th. And after that effort, that's how it looks. The ninth is a par four, right on 400 yards, Rich. But recently, players have been a little bit more aggressive off the tee. Players are trying to take all the bunkers in the fairway out of play by taking driver and hitting it over the right-hand one. From there, players will have a very simple second shot to a green that's fairly bland, Luke. There's just not much to it. This is a great birdie opportunity. What an opportunity to make a birdie. No, that's too bad. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. Trailing by four strokes. The second nine starts with a great par four, this 10th hole, and really features a big tree off the tee. I love this tee shot. It is narrow. You have to thread a bunch of trees. This is a great opportunity to tee that driver up low and chase it down that fairway. Second shot downhill ever so slightly to a green that chases away from you. What a wonderful, wonderful hole. Lining up the birdie putt here. That's a lovely stroke. Had eyes for the hole the whole way. Oh, here he comes into the top 10 with a bolt. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty.
now we go to the 11th where this happened just a moment ago. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. On the tee of a par three. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. A bit short with that effort. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. That one raced by. Bit of work coming back. He's sharing 13th place. Rich the 12th, the par four, measuring just over 400 yards. How do you play it? Grip it and rip it. Those fairway bunkers down the right-hand side, they're really not a big bother. So try and take those on as best you can. The further you drive it down there, their second shot becomes so much easier as this green is perched above you. Again, another good birdie opportunity here. Sitting at plus one, just on the fringe of the top 10. Nicely done. 16 feet to the hole. Just didn't drop. An opportunity to make a par here. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Well, birdies would certainly be on the mind of the players when they stand on the tee at the par 5 13th, Rich. But there are bogeys here as well if you're not careful. Don't get careless with this tee shot. Don't avoid the water on the right and try and hit it down the left-hand side because out of bounds comes in quickly, just left of those fairway bunkers. From the fairway, you have to decide where you want to go for it or lay it up out to the right. Any shots missed out to the right will leave a delicate chip to a green that runs away from the player towards the water. Just three feet to the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Let's head to the 14th, Rich. A short par four, but you've got to hit your tee shot up the hill. Up the hill, dog leg from right to left, but one of the most generous fairways on this golf course, if not the most generous. Anything up to the right-hand side will open up the second shot to the green that sits well below you. Any tee shots missed over to the left, however, you could have some tree issues. Even for the day, in a share of eighth position. A bit wild on approach there. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. This was his third. OK, let's get back to the action. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this part 10 feet from the cup. Got to try and save the par here. And down she goes. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. TPC River Highlands has a number of gettable holes, but how fascinating is this drivable par 4 15th? This hole is feast or famine for most players. Any tee shot that is missed a little bit to the left will go chasing into the water. Any tee shots that are bailed out to the right now you've got a difficult proposition you're faced with. You have to hit a pitch shot, a delicate pitch shot, to a green that sits well above you, but also runs away from you towards the water. What a par four this is indeed. All right, Rich, a great par three, this one, 16, all over the pond. This is difficult because the green, even though it looks large, it really isn't. This is actually a very small green. Difficult to get a tee shot close to any pin position out there. Center of the green is just dandy. That's disappointing. And that puddle drop. Well done. Let's check in with Lydia Ko from earlier. Oh, check this out. Showing us how it's done from the sand. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Now four back after that hole. 17, Rich, an elevated tee shot. It's a fun one, but it's less than driver. 
players obviously want to avoid the water on the right. However, you don't want to bail too far left and find that fairway bunker because your next shot is all over water. Players must stand on this tee committed to the shot at hand. You find the fairway. The second shot is intimidating because it's all over water. The green pitches from back to front towards the water, so be mindful of your spin. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, bit of extra juice needed. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Yeah, he'll take that. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. And the final hole at TPC River Highlands. If you've got a low score on the board, you really want to capitalise with a great tee shot here. Tee shot should be favoured down the right-hand side. The first fairway bunker over on the right is really no bother for all the players. The one on the left can collect a few errant tee shots. Second shot back up the hill ever so slightly to a green that's just begging, begging for you to go flag hunting. 12 feet to the cup coming up. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Gets that one to go down and that'll end the day's work. And at the end of their round, they find themselves in seventh on the leaderboard. Not a bad day's work. They start tomorrow on top 10, but the need to really get after those flags tomorrow if they want to be in contention, Luke. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Koyak, John McCarthy. Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Travelers Championship is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich. It's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? In the top ten, going into this final round, and there's a good opportunity to get out there early post some opening birdies and really let the leaders know that you're coming for them. Well, there's so much excitement and anticipation in the air. I can't wait to see how it plays out. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Starting the round at even par. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole played. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Judging it beautifully. He's currently sharing eighth position. Well struck. And inside the red zone, around 110 yards to go. That a boy. Good shot. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Well done. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Here we are at the fourth hole. Look. Coming off a birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. 
And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 175 yards. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? And here we are with the third shot. Three shots off the lead. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the fifth. Going with the three iron. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. This putt to try and save their par. That's disappointing. Just accept the bogey and move on. And that's a bogey, unfortunately. And unfortunately dropping back to even par there. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. That's tidy. Well, now you just got to pray for good luck as that one's heading towards the sand. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. This would be a great up and down. Ooh, that almost went down. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Down it goes, but that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Time to lift. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Trying to shake off the bogey on the last hole as they step onto this tee. Pretty good shot there. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Puff of wind blowing right to left. And here we are with the third shot. Five strokes behind our leader. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? This one, guys, he's got around nine feet. This is what they have left for par. Trailing by five shots after that hole. We've reached the eighth hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. This putt is for a spot inside the top ten. Ooh, right by the hole. And this putt coming up for his par. Good putt, that. He's currently tied for 13th. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Players are trying to take all the bunkers in the fairway out of play by taking driver and hitting it over the right-hand one. From there, players will have a very simple second shot to a green that's fairly bland Luke there's just not much to it this is a great birdie opportunity getting ready to play their third didn't that look good for a long time he has this putt to save his par oh that looks like a pure stroke now six strokes back after that hole this hole is a long par four I love this tee shot it is narrow you have to thread a bunch of trees this is a great opportunity to tee that driver up low and chase it down that fairway second shot downhill ever so slightly to a green that chases away from you what a wonderful wonderful hole oh gee that line was looking good wasn't it this putt's about four feet from the hole Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole-in-one. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Not taking enough club to get it there. What's in front of them, Henny? Straight back up this hill can be firm here oh just missed that one sitting at two over for the event yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey but here's an opportunity to bounce back
Here we are in the fairway bunker. Can they execute a good shot? And here we are with the third shot. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Oh, what a stroke. They've hold it. That's very gutsy. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. Well, 13, it's unlucky for some, Rich. Lovely effort, that. Playing from around 230 yards. Uh-oh, this one's heading to the hazard. Time now for the fourth shot. What a shot from that nasty light. I should be proud of that. And if this can go down, he'll save par. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. A little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if he can bounce back. Let's begin the 14th. Nicely done. This would be a great up and down. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Love watching this player around the greens. That's the kind of strike that's going to make them come back every day of the week. Second shot here on the 15th. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. This is a 12-footer here. He's on a good line. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Our leader is up by four shots now. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Now, this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Welcome to the tee of a par four. Second shot here on the 17th. Look out, there's water there. And here we are with their four. Well, let's hope this one draws a good lie because it's not going to be on the fairway. Sixth shot coming up. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. That's well played, pin high. And this next putt is for triple bogey. This one's tracking. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. Yeah, you'll take that. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. T-shot should be favored down the right-hand side. The first fairway bunker over on the right is really no bother for all the players. The one on the left can collect a few errant T-shots. Second shot back up the hill ever so slightly to a green that's just begging, begging for you to go flag hunting. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. It's a lot slower going up the hill than what this player read. And that will do it for him at this event. No W to celebrate there, Rich, but you think plenty of positives to take away from it? Always something to learn in this game, and hopefully this player has learned a lot. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.